out of Lafargeville, New York, it's going to be Cameron Black. Pace car is out of the way. We're ready to come down here out at turn number four, and the green lights are on. Outside lane prevailing, coming across Dalton Doyle. Going up to the number one spot, Doyle leads him coming out with Barrett right there in the number two spot. Everybody shuffling around. Look at Jack Patrick, card of an eye. He is making a run up onto the outside. Talking to Craig Harris right now, don't see a whole lot of damage here. Well, yeah, that left rear is punched in pretty good. So once they get the 74 Mike Bond uh, push back a little bit and get Craig Harris out of the way. As it comes down here in the front straightaway, Doyle, Barrett riding one and two. And now making a move up onto the outside is Camden Proud in car number 54. Camden, though, swinging down onto the inside. Proud and Mike Bruce. Bruce in the double deuce on the outside. He looks down onto the inside. Top three get a podium finish, and they bring it down out of turn number four. There are 11 laps to go, 11 to go. Watch him once again, your fourth place running car and then your fifth place car. Mike Bruce in fourth place, down onto the inside of Pullen in the top 10. They race going down and the white flag is out. Your leader coming down into turn number one. I'm gonna tell you, Dalton Doyle, he is just off and flying as he runs down the number two spot. Pullen has got a run going down there. Bear up on the outside, Pullen on the inside, Pullen is going to get the number two spot. The win goes to Dalton Doyle. It's gonna be Rob Pullen in the number two spot. Barrett is third, Lasorda was fourth. Well, thank you, Joe. Um, the car felt awesome. I mean, right from practice, the heat race, um, and then the feature, you know, the first few laps, the thing was a little free, but I was actually kind of happy about that because we've been battling the car being real tight. And uh, especially on entry, and the car was turning, and I was almost holding the steering wheel straight. The thing was like on a rail. And uh, I knew uh, the 37 car was going to be tough on the start, and them guys really got their stuff together this year. They're running good, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them in victory lane, so I knew I couldn't take the start lightly. And uh, once I got out front, you know, the car started to come in a little bit, and it was really just phenomenal. Yeah, the car really wasn't that great the whole race, but uh, I was just kind of hanging on. And what happened uh, last lap? You pulled off a second place finish. How did that come about for you? I guess the, the 37 in front of me, he just got, uh, he got a little messed up against his car got worse than mine. So I happened to be there, I took advantage of it. Um, it's pretty in, uh, tense because the first couple of weeks we had a heating problem and we haven't really done anything to the car and handling and it just it handled awesome. And then I knew though two was behind me, I felt him a couple of times, but I just held my line and my neck and arms started getting tired, so I was kind of like, here, let's go, but it was fun. I'd like to win one day. Jeff Abel, Keith Champagne, your door number two. Cody Gray, Michael Muldoon in the third row. Now they start to pick it up. Listen to the engines wind. Coming down out of turn number four. Green flag from Strutter, Donnie Forbes. And it is Lavery out in front, but look at Keith Champagne. Champagne going around the outside of the 01. Champagne on the charge. He goes into the second spot, into the third turn, but Connor's trying to battle the 68 of the Hustler. Michael Barnes rounding off the top 10. Gruel now on the inside of Bellinger, and Gruel gonna take that spot. No, Bellinger battles back on the outside. Side by side, down into the third turn. They stay that way, but Bellinger gives ground out there. Loses a spot as well to the seven of Sitterly. As we've got a yellow of Timmy Snyder. Up against the foam between three and four. Pace now over in turn number three. Green flag is out and it is Pat Lavery. Here comes on the outside, Cody Graham. Cody working on the 15 of Mike Muldoon. Muldoon gives ground, Graham slides in there. Gruel goes back to work on Bellinger. Going to look at it right now. The speed shot from on the front straight. Yeah. Yeah, just lost it coming out of four. The 0-1 of Connors battling on the outside. Abel on the inside, out of the fourth quarter, down the front straight. Abel now hanging on down to the inside. Connors running hard on the outside, but Abel takes over third. Just to pull away. Meanwhile, now here comes Abold, and look at the distance he has gained on the two leaders. And he spun out. Oh, my word. Jeff Abold. 
Cody Graham is in fourth. Otto and Barnsey going side by side behind Gruel. And the car up against the wall over in turn four. In a big battle back here, but it is Lavery out in front. Here's Cody Graham down to the inside of Danny Connors. Graham now up to the number three spot. And the 50 of Gruel goes by the 0-2 of Brandon Bellinger. So right now it is Lavery out in front, half down, half to go. Lavery Sitterly gets to the inside of the 0-2 of Bellinger. Down the front straight, he's got a Bellinger. Drops back a spot, drops down in ahead of the 65. They're coming up on the 11 of slower car, Eric Iosu. Right in behind him now. Here's Lavery trying to get by. Look at this, out of the inside, Champagne. And Iosu slowed down and took him right back out of it. 55 of Champagne. Somebody else made it through. We're looking at it again. Sitterly was going around the outside of Muldoon. Yeah, he just he just he just didn't have him cleared. It was a it was a racing deal. And Otto almost caught it. Muldoon actually got into Sitterly a little bit, and then Brand but drove off. And then Brandon, he was just trapped. He had yeah, cars Brandon on his inside and on the outside. Barnes working the high road, coming around. Pat uh, Jeff Abel goes back into the pitch. Barnes, he goes around the 50 of Gruel. Now working on the 01 of Danny Connors, staying on the outside. Gruel battling back on the inside. Sitterly and Muldoon going slowly down here on the front straight, coming down the front chute. The battle goes on. Your race leader is Lavery. Champagne runs second. Cody Graham is third. Michael Barnes up to fourth. The Hustler. Passing flag stays out. Finally goes by him on the outside as the 55 of Champagne. Wheels around on the outside as well. Here comes down to the inside. Going to make a run. Cody Graham has to back out as Sitterly is way down to the inside. Going around him, Champagne on the outside. Sitterly, the lap car running in the third spot, coming down the front straight. Cody Graham goes by Sitterly on the inside. Behind the 21 of Cody Graham. Cody trying to hang on. Here's Barnsley on the outside. Michael Barnes in the high road. Coming around the 21 of Cody Graham. Barnsley up to the number three spot. Michael Barnes on the charge. Four. Third there, nose to tail. Ioso gets out of the way into the pitch. Cody Graham running in the number four spot. Coming down off the corner. Here is Barnes, can't quite make it. The win goes to Pat Lavery, Champagne second, Barnes is third, Cody Graham, Danny Connors round it. Yeah, there's a lot of caution flags out there tonight. I didn't think this was ever gonna get over. I knew Keith was right there behind me running a good race. He's a, he's a good driver, but I, was, I wasn't concerned about that. It was, it was a lot of fun though. Uh, it was pretty frustrating because we were down on uh, horsepower quite a bit. Uh, we have some problems with the, the engine and uh, it's the best motor I've ever had, but tonight it, we, we missed it and um, if we had more horsepower, I think we would have passed them pretty fairly easily, but unfortunately um, didn't and uh, we were good better on the long runs and every time I got under them, the caution came out, so that's the way it goes. Do you wish you had a few more laps? Yeah, I wish I had about about three more. I think I think we'd have had it. Uh, I I actually thought maybe on that last lap I could have got both of them, but uh, Keith just came up the track there and took my line away. And uh, but we were coming on good at the end. I think we uh, we played with some stuff and we learned some stuff, and we definitely uh, made the car a lot better than it's been in a long time. So I think we're on to something, and if we keep going forward, I think we're just going to get better and better.